Carlos here with Wake and Bake with Carlos and today I am going to do my first ever local cannabis dispensary review right here in the city I live in, Airdrie in Alberta, Canada. Eh? So since legalization about 10 months ago in October 2018, I have been able to avoid going into a dispensary, but rather I go online. Part of me was avoiding it because of that dirty nasty Trudeau weed, you know eh? Another part of it was the mystique. Much like I get intimidated considering going into a poker room or a porno shop, a cannabis store has held a similar intimidation for me. What's on the other side of that door? Does it smell like weed in there? What kind of prices are we looking at, Carlos? Well, today I am going to light this joint and tell you all about my initial experiences with my local dispensary, Plant Life. Oh yeah. Conveniently located in Kingsview between a Mary Brown's Chicken and a Little Caesar's Pizza, I came upon this almost by mistake. You see, there was an email communication issue with my current online dispensary and I misjudged and I ran out of weed for the first time in years. I surrendered. I strolled into plant life and you know something? It felt right. And it does smell like weed in there. <laughs> Right upon entering, you have a sativa table and an indica table and a hybrid table, each sporting five or so different bud strains to check out. Each strain is encapsulated in a clear jar with a magnifying glass to get a better look at those trichomes. You can also lift the sniff lid and get an idea of what it smells like before you buy. A number of staff members happily came over to answer questions and possibly educate me on the differences. I chatted weed with a few staff and it was really fun to be in an acceptable place doing absolutely nothing wrong. You can choose from their scrolling overhead weed menus and choose between getting dry buds or pre-rolled joints. You can get a half a gram joints, you can get one gram joints, you can get three packs, you can get five packs. The menu is constantly changing so they are happy to show you a list of up-to-date inventory. I bought two one gram joints for my first time going there. It was Subway Scientist and Indica at 26%, enough said. <laughs> About $12.50 each, but I burned each joint three different times before they were pooched, so. Oh, fuck. They come sealed in a cap tube like this, and that tube comes in a box like this, and that box comes in this bag. Subway Scientist was strong, yet it didn't couch lock me. I was still able to go to the gym and keep busy. Today I found myself drifting over to Plant Life again. This time I had a great chat about what Plant Life had in store for me today. I left with one gram of bud in this convenient container right here and in this incredible bag. Namaste is the name of this hybrid. At 20%, I was pretty impressed. The high is clean, but the taste, it's incredible. I gotta try some in my Utilian 721. Weed always tastes awesome when vaping my dry herb. Not this time though. I was pretty impressed with the one gram of amount compared to the one gram joints I purchased prior. I can roll three third gram joints, which is plenty for me. All in all, Plant Life is a clean establishment with many friendly faces on the other side waiting to help you in any way. Other than joints and dry herb, they also have capsules and oil in various amounts. If this video has helped you in any way feel even a little more comfortable about entering a cannabis store near you, then please let me know. Comment, like, share on your social media platform and subscribe for future reviews of weed and dispensaries. For now, I got a little Caesars in the kitchen, I gotta go. If you don't cough, you don't get off. Namaste.